Now, right now on WPTV.com, which is where we are right now, team coverage of the damage of the system has called so far and what we can expect from it. We begin with Storm Team 5 meteorologist Glenn Glazer with the latest on Andrea. Glenn. Thanks, Heliar. Good afternoon, everyone. Here's what we're looking at right now on Live Viper 5. Max, Andrea, right out here, still in the Gulf of Mexico, but headed very quickly toward Florida's Panhandle or Nature Coast, where it will make landfall later on this afternoon or early this evening. Meteorologist Kate Parker will have a look at the latest track from the National Hurricane Center in just a few minutes here. But I I want to show you what's happening. Here's the rain band from earlier this morning, now well out into the Atlantic, but that's the rain band that contained the thunderstorms that caused these possible tornadoes across the area. National Weather Service is on the way there right now. A couple of our friends from the National Weather Service are going to survey the damage and the acreage there, and they'll report back to us very, very quickly and let us know if these were confirmed tornado touchdowns in our viewing area in the acreage there. Here's what we're looking at right now. This big rain band that's moving on shore on the west coast of Florida. National Hurricane Center has said that is the strongest rain band of Tropical Storm Andrea, and it's going to make its way across the state through the rest of the afternoon today and into the evening hours. So the tornado watch for our area has been extended through 10 o'clock tonight, which hopefully will be long enough for that band to make it through. And after that, we'll still see some chances for heavy rainfall, but things will quiet down quite a bit. We've got a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity now popping up in the area, moving south to north. A little bit of a different direction from this morning, where everything was moving more northeasterly. But as Andrea continues to move east, the direction of these showers and thunderstorms is going to continue to change throughout the day today and into tonight. This is a pretty strong thunderstorm right here, moving up into Martin County right now, and another little cluster. Right down here, moving into Palm Beach Gardens. All of this moving very, very quickly, about 25 to 30 miles per hour. We have a few more showers and thunderstorms moving across Lake Okeechobee and more moving through Palm Beach County right now. We're going to have a lot more on what's going on with our current rainfall in just a moment, but we're going to get to meet around as Kate Parker with the latest from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Andrea. Well, Glenn, current sustained winds are at 60 miles an hour with Tropical Storm Andrea. It's moving now to the northeast at 15 miles an hour, so it continues to push, pick up that forward motion. It also has made a slight turn more east. It was moving north northeast, so now we've got a northeasterly movement, and we are watching that or in, and expecting this storm to make landfall right here in the Big Bend region in North Florida later today. By this evening, the center of circulation should be passing over Florida and into Georgia, and then moving along the coast of Georgia and the Carolinas, maintaining that strength as a tropical storm, possibly in the into the mid Atlantic states and even as far north as New York and Boston before. For becoming a low pressure system and downgrading from that tropical storm status. So we are expecting to see it quiet down eventually, but this is obviously something we're going to be monitoring all the way up the eastern seaboard. Let's go ahead and talk about this weather alert day and why it's been issued. Very heavy rainfall in spots all the way through this evening as those rain bands push through our area. We're also going to be seeing isolated tornadoes. We've had numerous tornado warnings all the way already through today. Gusty winds also going to be a concern, even on non tornado warned storm some of those in those particular cells could still contain winds up to 55 miles an hour